Yeah, this is Bang Bang Rail. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe. About 1970, what, 78, 77, 78, that area, um, Johnny Bindon was um, in Brixton for the murder of Johnny Dark, yeah. Um, he was on the wing and on a landing with a very good friend of mine, uh, Johnny Arden, yeah. Johnny Arden, big family. Dennis Arden, Charlie Arden, uh, right, how many is this? John, George, Dennis, Charlie, Bimbo, and Alan Arden. All very dangerous people, all with blades. They all come from Acton, very dangerous, yeah. Uh, I think Johnny Arden was in uh, Brixton for that time for maybe uh, GBH in 10, something like Melissa's mean, Warning, something like that, yeah. And he was on the same landing as uh, Johnny Bindon. I'm not quite sure if he was toed up with Johnny Bindon, but he was definitely on the same landing as Johnny Bindon. And he was telling me that um, Johnny Bindon used to, even in in uh, in Brixton, um, take his trousers down for mucking about, laughing about in there. Uh, people couldn't believe the size of it. And in two hands, yeah, he'd get hold of it in two hands and swing it round, yeah? Swing it round. This is what my mate's telling me. And, uh, you know, my mate said, Christ, he said, right, it's, 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 it's mad. It's, it was like a baby's leg. You know, it's crazy. He said, not only that, he said, um, Johnny Bindon used to get me running around collecting lots of his debts because he was on the murder charge. He couldn't be seen as doing that sort of thing. He said, so I used to run around collecting all debts for him. He said, yeah, Johnny Bindon was a good, okay guy, Ray. He wasn't, um, you could see he was a little bit of a bully. You could see he was a really, really hard man. And he was telling stories um, to my mate about the Crays, Reggie and Ronnie Cray. And he said that he was working for them. He was a debt collector for Reggie and Ronnie Cray. Uh, he's, he's had quite a few pictures with Randy Roger Cray, and I, I happen to have got one of them that my mate John sent me, yeah? And uh, he was telling me uh, stories about uh, Reggie and Ronnie Cray. Um, only the, the reasons also that they liked uh, Bindon wrapped around them, yeah? Because they used to like Bindon, um, when they used to get a girl, a girl for Bindon, uh, over a debt they'd collect and they get a bird for Bindon. Uh, they also like going into the bedroom and watching Bindon perform on the girl. And uh, you know why, you know what I mean? You, can know, you know exactly why they used to do that, you know. Uh, you know, Johnny Bindon, I think it was 10 inches, 12 inches, 14 inches by 8 inches, something like that, you know, something stupid. And you can imagine uh, Reggie and Ronnie, uh, they, they, they loved it. I don't know what else went on. Uh, I don't suppose uh, John, he, he, he confined in John about other things maybe that went on, but I can imagine uh, in my own mind what went on there, can't you? Yeah, I bet you can, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I thought it was to walk funny. Anyway, yeah, um, he was also, he was also on that Caribbean island, wasn't he, in the 70s uh, um, over there. It was a big, big thing about him and Lady Margaret, yeah? And that was even in the Daily Star. Um, I think it was the Daily Star. A big front page about it. Uh, Lady Margaret having an affair with Johnny Bindon. Whether or not it's, it was only hearsay. Uh, no one actually see it, but they see him very close to each other, sitting on tables and all that on the, on the beach and all that. So, you know, doesn't mean say she was having an affair with Johnny Bindon, but she was very close to him, yeah? She was sitting right next to him. Uh, more or less just, you know, how it is, I suppose, when two people meet and, uh, you know, and they just chat. That's how it looked, but it could have been a lot worse. They say it was a lot worse, but I don't know. Lady Margaret was having an affair with Johnny Bindon. That's what they're saying. Um, he had he had quite a few, uh, he had quite a few girlfriends, you know. That Christine Keeler, um, it was with her for quite some time. He had Serena, this is what really surprised me, the tennis player, Serena Williams, yeah. Evidently, he was with Serena Williams for quite some time. How about that then? I've been like that. No one. I've ne that's the first time I heard that. Yeah, uh, having an affair with Serena Williams. Not an affair, but just, just together with Serena Williams. How about that? Uh, you can imagine her playing tennis, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she can hit a ball, mate. Yeah, seriously, uh, Serena Williams. If it's having the fair with Serena Williams. And the, and the other one, the 
the one he was with for about, I don't know, 10 years, 12 years, Vicky Hodge. I mean, she was uh, a Baroness's daughter, I think, was it? Uh, she was absolutely stunning, Vicky Hodge. I mean, you see her over there in the Caribbean island, she was with Princess Margaret and all them over in the, in the islands. Uh, but, you know, evidently, um, Vicky Hodge and they all had they all had big games together. Whether or not it's true, it's only hearsay, but I'm just telling you what I was told from quite a few people. Um, after Bindon got acquitted of uh, the murder charge with Johnny Dock, um, he went over to he went over to the Caribbean island. I think it was 1979. Um, there, evidently, there uh, he met Princess Margaret over there again. And uh, what, what went on there, I don't know, but evidently that he did have an affair with Princess Margaret. It's a big thing, isn't it? You know, like, why not? They're only not human beings. It doesn't matter they're princesses, queens, or whatever. They're still they're entitled to do what they want to do, you know what I mean? I know being over, being over in the islands, you think it'd be a hush-hush, no, no, nothing, it, but it come out, didn't it? It come out in the papers. Um, it had to be, had to be uh, one of his girlfriends. It, more like it was Vicky Hodge. Uh, that grasped uh, him up or just said that what she, she thought was going on. But Johnny Bindon, um, you know, he was a bit of a lad, mate. He was a lad. Uh, I met Johnny Dark. I met Johnny Dark. Um, Johnny Dark um, come over to my place uh, um, just for a chat. And I think he was involved um, with a big gold um, cougar and turnout at... Um, at at uh, what's the name of the airport? What's the name of the airport? Uh, Norfolk Airport, is it? I think it was Norfolk Airport, the one in that big airport over there. Um, I think he was doing a big cougar and uh, swindle out there. I remember him talking to me about that. I was living in uh, Greenford at the time, and he came with some people that I know, and he came over just to see me. He'd heard about me boxing and this, that, and the other. He came over to have a, he loved his fights. He came over to talk to me and he was talk, t telling me about his uh, cougar hands and he was involved with some pe big, big people in Southall, yeah, uh, some Indians in Southall that, that buy the cougar hands. Yeah, and he said they was paying good money for them, yeah. But this, it was a big thing he was involved with in cougar hands that, that's coming from South Africa or something like that, but he was, it was a big thing he was doing, Johnny Dark, you know. Anyway, um... So, I, anyways, cut, cut a long story short, um, me me, and Johnny Bindon, uh, as you say, um, we had a few hours here and there. Um, right at the very end, we become pals, not as such, but, you know, we was laughing together, having jokes, with, and he was getting involved with other girls and, and this, that, and the other. And I can imagine, I just, when I, when I was told, when I was told about the... Uh, the craze, uh, being with Johnny Bindon and Johnny Bindon doing all their enforce, enforcer work, it must have been, it must have been uh, around uh, maybe where, where uh, Freddie Foreman, maybe even uh, even Frankie Fraser at the time, they was all, all doing the same thing, I don't know. But Bindon uh, evidently was one of their big enforcers and I can imagine that he was a big enforcer. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, you can imagine Reggie Monique, eh? He was a right big enforcer, Johnny Bindon. <laughs> he really enforced himself on the eyes <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, dear oh Lord. You know, you hear so many stories, isn't it? And then, and then it all comes out and it was, isn't it? It's madness, isn't it? But this is how it is anyway. Listen, uh, it was just a little bit more about Johnny Bindon. Um... But anyway, um, it ruined his uh, it ruined his career as a, as a, as an actor um, being involved uh, at, with with that murder and bits and pieces like that. Even though he got acquitted, he still ruined everything that he was doing. Uh, he just went into hiding after that. Um, they say uh, he used to go around my father-in-law's house, uh, Mickey Mickey Johnson. And go over there and see them, and yeah, there's a lot of there's so many things happened, uh, but you can go on and on and on with this story, Johnny Binder, because there are a lot of things that's went on between Johnny Binder, my family, and, and all that, this, that, and the other, yeah. But anyway, um, please like and subscribe, and uh, good morning.